Well, thank you for joining me on this cold week in January. I hope that you're managing to keep warm. But moreover, I hope that you know the warmth of family and friends and the deep warmth and love that Christ has for each and every one of you. Today's reading is longer than usual. It's the parable of the two sons from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 21. What do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered. But later he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. And he answered, I will, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did what his father wanted? Amen. I have a confession, but don't tell others. I find it difficult to say no. Not impossible, but hard and difficult. How do you respond when someone asks you to do something? Do you say yes, knowing that you have no intention of doing it anyway? Or do you say no? knowing that you might feel very, very bad about it. The truth is that people often say one thing and do another, just like the two sons we heard of earlier. One said yes, but didn't keep his promise. However, the one who said no regretted his choice, changed his mind and turned up at the vineyard for work. There's an old song that goes, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. As Christians, it's not so much what we say that's important, it's what we do. Actions do indeed speak louder than words. The truth is that God has tasks for you, tasks that only you can do. He will never send you out unprepared. He equips you for every task through life's experience or book learning or desire. And he gives you the strength and wisdom to accomplish it. And he doesn't count our protestations and procrastinations. For he is a God who gives and gives and gives and he will keep giving you opportunities to do the tasks he wants. Opportunity upon opportunity until we say yes. In God's sight, you will never be right doing the wrong thing and never wrong doing the right thing. Let's pray. Almighty Lord, loving Father, receive the praise that is due your name, for you are holy, righteous and just, and in you we find joy and peace and life eternal. We thank you for all the times you come to us through your Spirit, through the Word and through messengers, friends and family and strangers each visitation perfect according to your timing and each a blessing to us. As your children, we ask that we be attentive to your voice and spirit and that we may be ready to go and do the work that you have called us to do. And may we do it with a joyous spirit. As you call us to action, Lord, May our response to you always be yes. And now let's say together the prayer taught to us by Jesus. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, 
your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.